Hello, in today's video we will create this map using QGIS software. We will start by creating a layout page, adding various map elements and inserting a previously created chart from Excel, which provides additional information to the map. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So as you can see we have here uh, this shape file called buildings with some uh, some type of buildings, uh, administrative services, bank, chapel, housing, library, and among others. Also have the street uh, shapefile and uh, the area of study, our city center. Firstly, since I want the background to be black, I want to change the, the outline of the city center shapefile. The, the stroke color in this case will be, uh, I want it to be white so i'll change this to white click ok and ok again and now we start by creating the layout so to do this we go to project then we can click here new print layout we can give it a name and click ok and a new page will pop up it opened in my second monitor i'll just drag it here and here that's uh, that's the canva where we will create our our layout so firstly we click here on add map and draw the map here we are handling the map here in our canva and we can adjust to the corners of our canva here on main properties we can set the scale we want so let's try 10,000 okay maybe a little bit less 8,000 okay this one looks better and since we change the color of our CD map uh, background or stroke color we need to change the background of our canva to black or uh, or other uh, dark color so we go to item properties here at the, at the right and here at the bottom when we have background we just click on it and change the color to black i'll choose this black but also also i will change something here we need to go back and i'm moving these a little to to be more like a gray and not so dark okay something like this uh, looks okay to me so i will we'll now adjust this, the the position of our map to the center so we just click here on uh, move item content and i want to place this right at the middle okay let's start by creating a title for our map so this is easy we just click here on add text draw a rectangle into the map in main properties we have here this uh, this text box where we can type our text i'll call this city map in uppercase it's too little as you can see and we here in font we can change some th some things about the font okay first click on font i will change this to a different font i want this one pop in black and the size i will type 50 and the color will be this white okay so here we have our title and then we can adjust that position secondly i will just copy so ctrl c or click copy and ctrl v to paste it and i will give this map a subtitle so in this case will be maps by rgd and you to tutorial okay one thing i want to do is to change both things also the font i will i will choose this one 
and for the for the size maybe something like 20 seems okay and the style i want to be uh, bold so i'll choose this one negrito uh, maybe something a little bit more like let me see 12 yep this one seems seems okay and i want to uh, i also want to change the color of this subtitle so i'll choose this this pink because i like the contrast of this pink and black i think it looks uh, very very nice let me just adjust the position a little bit more to the center let me see yeah i like it also we want um, a north arrow so to add a north arrow we can click here on add north arrow draw a rectangle and we have some uh, some elements or some svg images we can choose from so i'll just type north i really like this one because it's it's very simple and i want it to be a simple map so we adjust the position and the size of the north arrow like this okay uh, then we need to add a scale so we we'll just click on add scale bar draw a rectangle once again for the style i like to use this one light line ticks up and we just need to change the color of the elements um, from black to white so to do this let me just close these arrows um, for this we just go to display and here at the bottom go to the bottom and we have the line styles that we want to to edit so just click on it and i'll just change the color to white in each one of them okay this one as well okay and we need also to change the color of the text subdivision we don't have a subdivision so we don't need to change and here on font i will choose the home to be the same font as the subtitle and here white as well for the text okay now let me just adjust a little bit the position okay seems okay this way i want to use this area here at the um, bottom right corner to add the legend of the map so for that we just click here on legend we add a rectangle once again and i don't want to represent these here other other the buildings i don't want to represent as well the field streets and city center i want to to remove because i don't want to represent this uh, this part here so i will just uncheck the auto update i only want to show items inside the linked maps so as you can see it removed some of the elements also the buildings i don't want so i just right click on buildings and click hidden and for the streets and city center we can click here on this minus sign to remove so i want to remove the streets and the city center from our legend also i want to change the the font of our text it's similar to the to the to the to what we did previously so we just need to font and text formatting this is the this one the item label so we click on item font I will change this also to Tahoma and the color to white. Okay, so now we just need to remove the background of the legend also. So let's go back again and here for the background we can uncheck and it will work. Okay, now we just need to move this a little bit to the bottom. And I will also move this a little bit to the to the right here. So we just need to adjust with this button. 
I will just adjust these two here. Also, I want to, to type here that this is the legend. So, so let me just move this a little bit more to the center. And I want to change to, to type here that this is the legend. So I will just copy this text here and type legend. We can put it here at the top. But since we have a lot of space here, what I will do is to move it here, change the color to white, maybe, and the size maybe to 16. And I want to change or to rotate this legend. So let's try 280 or 275. No, it's 270 actually, and move the text to here. So we have the legend here. Also, I want to have a, a graph here representing the number of building of each type. So what I will do is to click here on add picture and I will change this to raster image and search for the image I have uh, uh, already saved in my in my in my folder. So it's this graph here with no background. Click open. This graph was made in Excel, a simple gra uh, Excel uh, graph. So we just adjust the position, something like this. Let me see. It looks very very good. As you can see, we have here all types of, of buildings. Um, also, I want to represent uh, three places that are a majority uh, with the same buildings. So here on the social area, we have one of these areas here in it's the school area, the, the education area and here the administrative area. And I want to highlight these elements uh, into our map. Okay, so I will just copy once again this, this title here. And I will change the name first to administrative area. And I want to change this font this color font to white and I will copy will copy and paste this one will be education area and for the third one will be social area okay Finally, we will use this uh, arrow option here. So we just want to draw Okay, we have this arrow and for the options for the start marker and end marker I don't want the arrow so I will choose this none and the stroke color needs to be white to be visible. Oh here. Okay, we just need to change here. So this uh, is um, this is uh, the social center. So it's a social area. So I will just move this to the bottom. Okay, so this is the social area. We can copy the let me copy the line and move it here to represent the education area. We can select the arrow, zoom and increase the size of the arrow or the line and move the text to here. And finally, we can copy again this 
and this is the administrative area so we can also increase the size like this maybe a little bit more to here and we move this to here And there we go, we have an easy way of creating a modern map in QGIS. Finally, we can change this layout view or go to layout, export as image or PDF or SVG. I will choose the export as image in this example. And I already have uh, two examples here, so I'll give this name city center 3 and save this will pop up and just click save to export the map and here we have the map created quite quickly uh, I took about uh, 15 minutes to design this layout, having the shape was already edited beforehand. And that's all for today, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, if you like this type of content, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment what you want to learn next.